Hello everyone and welcome to the Gunning Gallade and welcome to part 2 of the Chilling Rain Booster Box opening. Well, 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 a set that we've been waiting for for a while. It's ironic that it's like a set about winter in the summer, but no one really minds at all. May the lucky egg of Jizard be with us during this opening. Uh, if you missed the first part, I mean, holy smokes. I got the Celebi VMAX Rainbow Rare. That is some wildness and it's a card that I found such great adoration for prior to um, so the first box gave me six white co uh, six white code cards and 12 green code cards uh, obviously staggered but somewhat bunched up if you watch closely towards the end of the video when I go over the code cards you get to see exactly uh, exactly what was going on like what the trend was and it seemed like the white code cards from what I recall were somewhat bunched up so who knows all right, rugged helmet, crabominable in the sunset. Doctor, welcoming lantern. Oh, Matter Girls V Max. How are you doing? It's my first V Max technically because the Rainbow Rare is the Rainbow Rare. Uh, no alt arts yet, but uh, Rainbow Max, uh, Rainbow Max. Holy cow! Uh, Rainbow Rare, Matter Girls V. Uh, out of the, what was that? That was the first pack. That was some first pack magic. No, it was not. Yes, it was. Yeah. Holy cow. Why was that so difficult for me to remember? Um, anyways, so Chilling Rain has been here ever since the pre-release, and a lot of stores were selling things early. So for those of you who stress out about not being able to get product, I mean, don't worry if you can't get it right away. It sucks, but the internet is a wonderful resource, and there's so many... Like, Facebook Marketplace is crazy. I haven't purchased anything from there personally yet. However, I feel like if I needed to really find something, I could probably find it there. Um, for all the um, annoying natures, ooh, I don't want to mess up my pattern, so I don't have to clean more after. Um, but, like I was saying, there's no need to fret, my friends. Uh, what's accompanying us today? In the previous video, I had Donkey Kong Land, <laughs> all the music from Donkey Kong Land, and tonight... Or right now, rather. Um, well, it's probably going to be the afternoon by the time you're watching this. Uh, watch, I'm listening to the Undertale 5th Anniversary concept, uh, Concert and all the songs. And I can only thank one person for showing me this. And it is Rainbow Chew. Without a doubt, Psychic Energy showing itself. Porygon 2 as well. Um, I love it. That's what I love about so many things. But... Oh, this is so epic right now. Oh, spicy. And I just had some yummy Indian food that had a good kick to it. I've, 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 I don't know what my problem is, but I've had like this crazy hot sauce. It's like competition hot sauce. Also, I've noticed something here. Let's see if I'm correct, but the I noticed that like the, the, the ultra rare and the... Um, the ultra rare and the reverse hollow stick together if you're uh, minding your uh, card trick. I've been noticing this trend secretly because I think there's something here. There is! It's a Galarian Articuno V. So the only the third V that I've pulled from this box, which is so strange. Um, but I mean, is there... I wonder. We'll just keep paying attention to the trends, but... No repeats. Which I don't mind, but no alt arts. Alt arts are the thing of modern day happiness. There's so many wonderful little characters here. There's Blissey, there's Zeraora, which I really love. And there is, um, who else is in here? I mean, there's obviously the VMAX, Ice Rider, and Shadow Rider Calrex, which is wild. Serena, ooh, and a single strike Urshifu, that's a double. Urshifu, we just had a whole set focused on you. What are you doing here? Speaking of things that were unwanted, the Pokemon Center made a big boo-boo. What happened to you guys? Let's take a peek. All oh. um, Pokemon Center, what happened? Uh, if you are like me, and you try to order or pre-order a booster um, Elite Trainer box that was supposed to be like Pokemon Center exclusive with like... 10 booster packs, they sent an email out like two nights before shipping out uh, saying that it's... <gasps> Yo, what up? 
I made it. Oh, slurp of. Um, that was gonna come with ten packs, and then they apologized and said they're gonna give us like a bunch of um, V's, or they're gonna give us the birds. Uh, uh, my question is, uh, what are they gonna do with the birds? Are they gonna put them in like a special wrapping? Are they gonna make it look like um, something unique? Are they said they're gonna give a ten dollar pro a voucher to people and stuff, and <gasps> that's so cool. I really like this card. Oswaldo Cato. Thank you, Oswaldo. Crab Rawler. Crab Rawler reminds me of a Judas Priest song called Nightcrawler. But they're not even close. Ooh, Dinah Tree Hill. Hane, Hane, Hane. It's a Viper. Uh, sharing the score with his friend. Uh, who's his friend? Who's his friend? Zangoose, obviously. Not quite halfway through Galarian Zapdos. No alt art. Oh yeah, speaking of alt arts, there's Galarian Zapdos and Articuno and Galarian Moltres. Um, and I really f felt that there was going to be a Galarian Moltres that was going to grace itself with me. But whether or not it's true, we'll find out. I have a few packs left to determine what is happening with uh, my alt art fortunes. I've only ever pulled one alt art, and that's an Urshifu V from... Uh, burning. Ooh, non hollow. What up, boy? Good to see you. Great artwork for Galate. Okay. I would. I'm, I'll never be sad to pull a Galate. Maybe w what I'll do is uh, I'll add a Galate to my mail when I ship it out to people. So I gotta say, this box has been pretty rough. I don't know what everyone else's trends have been, but it is about 12 green cards, 6 white coat cards. So. What are the odds? One in three, roughly? That you will get at least some sort of hit, and that's a little challenging. Agron and a Sawsbuck. Sawsbuckety buck, buck, buck. Alright, hitting the seventh minute mark. I really want to make this video kind of short, especially because my phone is running out of space. It's kind of stressful. Um, but I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be sharing this experience with you after so long. What is the last booster box I opened? Was it Dragon's Exalted? Like, on the channel, I mean, because... Oh, speaking of booster boxes, EV Heroes? What a magic. Uh, Evolving Skies? What is this craziness? What are they going to do to us? Uh, I I'm not getting my... Uh, ooh, Hollow Shea, baby. Hello. Okay. I'm not going to get to... Um, Huffity puff puff about it because I'm sure there'll be opportunities to get it. I'm just focusing on one right now. Galate, I love you, but I'm just gonna keep you off just to keep the symmetry in check. I can even say symmetry, but but yeah, I just also that's been a lot of green code cards like in a row. Pretty brutal. Do you like to have someone choose your packs when you're buying like you know you're gonna buy multiples? I do sometimes, but I think it depends on how I feel about the person that's getting me the packs. <laughs> Not to sound overly dramatic, but I think there's a th there's a thing there. You know, just how are you feeling about yourself on the given day? This is all hocus pocus, but sometimes you just know. Like, you can close your eyes and pick a whole bunch of packs and go, Holy cow, I did it. I pulled the madness. Um, but, um... Sometimes, I mean, it depends on... Well, it depends on who's who's the seller, because, I mean, I have to give so much love to a few stores, and I do this every once in a while in my videos, but I have to do it again. Cardboard Classics, uh, they know me by name, they know when I'm calling, uh, whether or not it's a good thing. Um, it just shows that they, they want to support as much as they can, because the small guys don't get the same kind of... Uh, immediate attention as the big guys and in Toronto there aren't really too many huge players except one 401 games those guys are kind of the kingpins because they can get things in bulk and they can sort of dictate the market I mean that's not true that they do that but they can basically set the price there's a sneasel down back there water energy hunter Celio Melanie Cinderace okay not bad and a zip strike a Oh, baby, it is hot, it is humid, I'm down to five packs, I'm worried, Galarian Moltres on the pack art, am I really not going to pull, is that what it is, with all my fortunes reserved, also, what's with all the green code cards, guys, 
Uh, were all my fortunes reserved for the Rainbow Rare Celebi from the first box? The music is amping up. What is it going to be? Let's turn it up. I want an alt art. I was dreaming about that Moltres. Maybe not my first choice, but one I thought could happen. Oh, a Blaziken V. Okay, so that's my my fourth V card of this whole box. That is insane. We're, are we really saving the best for last year? We are down to the final pack. Final pack, what do I say? Final four. It's been nothing but straight green code cards on the right side of the box. So I'm hoping that the last few... Maybe it's down to the last three packs. Maybe this is going to be a case of last pack magic. Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm at the 11 minute mark and I'm almost wondering, like, when is my phone going to just stop working? <laughs> it was just so unfortunate and very frustrating. Scolipede and a Spiritomb non-hollow. A race against the clock. We are going to the final three. Shadow Rider Calyrex on the artwork. I also have those two booster boxes from the Pokemon Center coming. So that's going to be very fun. And I'm hoping that that's where the magic is going to be. I uh, definitely want to continue the magic, rather. Because we know that you just... All it takes is one pack to get the thing you want. So... Alright, Ladian. Peonia. Honey. Steeny Reverse Hollow. That's cool. And a Malamar. Two more packs. Two more packs. I'm feeling nervous, stressed out. Ice Rider Calyrex. The song playing right now is called Fallen Down. I don't even know what level that's from, but um, it would be cool, because I don't know anything about um, Undertale. But I was mentioning in the previous one that I'm really interested in uh, kicking up Ultra Sun, because I haven't finished that, and I heard the story's good. So I can just bypass Sun and play Ultra Moon, rather. I said Ultra Sun. Oh, Rouse Reverse Hollow! <gasps> and a Galade. That's my third Galade of this box. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Last pack magic, friends. Galarian Zapdos on the artwork. I think this has to be something. This has to be a hit. This has to have something. Um, something to, you know... <clears throat> Let's see if the trend is what it is also. Ooh, that's, that's not looking good, is it? Anyways, let's see. Shuppet. Cubfu. Blitzel. Quillfish. Galarian Slowpoke. The audience is clapping for the last pack. What is it going to be? Crabominable Doctor. Uh, Zep Strika, And a Hollow Beedrill. So that is my first booster box in so long. On the second side of the box, um, or the right side of the box, I pulled... Uh, v Max Metagross, Articuno, and a Blaziken V, and a few Hollows. So the Hollows were Beedrill, Shaman, then two Single Strike Urshifus, I think a Porygon Z, and a Rapid Strike Urshifu. So all, well, I mean, well, I guess in summary, the Ultra Rares that were pulled from this box were, let's just take a look, we have this Blaziken V, we have this Galarian Articuno, the Shadow Rider Calyrex, the Celebi, uh, Metagross VMAX, and the Celebi VMAX. So this booster box gave me six Ultra Rares. That is crazy. So out of 36 packs, I got six Ultra Rares. It's one in five. Um, or one in six, rather. So, yeah. Okay. So be it. And what was the trend here? So we had the last pack had a had a green gold card. Gold, <laughs> gold card. Um, so I guess you're kind of looking at the first one, and then the. I mean, you can make this up all you want, but it doesn't mean that it's true. Um, let's look at the reverse hollows, the ones that I noticed that were different from the first box. The Ralts, the Steeny by Kamaya, and the Venipede non hollow definitely caught my attention so let's get you some code cards while I give you um, the shout outs to uh, you know check out the gun and glade on Instagram and TikTok. you are on YouTube obviously so thank you all for watching much appreciated much love I'm gonna keep going until I can finish talking <laughs> which is gonna be pretty soon but maybe in 15 seconds I can wrap this up code cards for all of y'all you deserve it enjoy much love and until the next time bye for now